Hello. Yeah, that's what the window just said. Listen. Hey there. Hey there. Have a good one. Have a good one. See you around. See you around. You need something? You need something? See you later. See you later. See Come on, say hello, goddammit. Good day to you. Good day to you. Have a good one. See you around. See you later. How are you? How are you? What can I do for you? No, say hello. I supply only the finest goods. See you around. Looking for something specific? Come on, say hello to the people. How are you? No, not how are you. I'm fine, thank you. Say hello. Have a good one. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> now I guess, yeah, thank you. Now you can shut up. I guess we can uh, get started with a proper episode this time with the uh, nice barman saying hello to us and that is great so let's start up flying up to the uh, amber ledge here and deliver whatever quest we have here and then uh, I'm thinking we can probably continue over here do the quest is around here before we finally continue to the quest is over here so that sounds like a great plan and uh, I'm gonna be careful that I'm not flying into the horde base right over here at Wars and Hold that happened before and that is not something pleasant especially not if they are gonna kill you so we're halfway through level 71. I know it's been going a little bit slow, but we're going to try fix up on that. Now that I got summer vacation, like I mentioned in the last video, I got plenty of time to be recording. And uh, now that everything is done with real life, I'm ready to do some seriously slacking. But not on the computer. On the computer, I've got plenty of stuff to do. Plenty of uh, Let's Play videos and plenty of PvP videos to be planned and to be coming out over the next couple of weeks, so... Almost here at Ant Amber Ledge. I'm gonna zoom out on min my minimap there. Got some stuff I can sell to the Wanderer, it seems. Well, well... I'm gonna... Fly down here, deliver the quest, and... Get some gloves. Awesome. I'd smoke great. Okay, so let's uh, fly further enough up, up to the uh, dear uh, gnomes and do the quests for them. There's plenty of quests. And look at the amount of rested XP. I still have plenty of rested XP left, so that's great. That's uh, maybe 50% rested XP I got. So that's not bad. That's good enough to bring us all the way to level 72, so that's nice. But first, we need to get there, and that is where we need to go, it's right over here. Get, see if there's any uh, follow-up quests or anything like that. Uh, that I haven't, uh, that I have yet to be, uh, to pick up. If not, I'm gonna go over here and do the quest up there. So, doesn't seem like there's any quests for us to do, so... Now, enough flying around, and now we can finally get started on the quests right here. So what we need to do is we need to get some spare parts, we need to curse some uh, gnomes here and uh, pour them out, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I believe I have to kill them first in order to uh, recurse them or whatever. And why is this mammoth still following me? That's pretty weird. Well, we kill the uh, goblin and we don't want to kill any of these uh, vehicles quite yet. Not before... Can I target this? I think probably. Thank you. Okay, so I need to uh, six more of those gnomes to be cleaned out. Need to get find, run around finding the spare parts as well. Need to get fifteen of them. But I know a lot of the gnomes are running around in this area over here, so might as well while I'm here still kill them before I go further south. And somebody else is here questing. It seems like a warlock or something. Okay. More spare parts. Awesome. Oh, that's right, isn't it? One of these uh, mobs can be dropping quest items as well. Or is it that? Is that the gnome? I can't really remember. So, anyways, I I probably need to be looting them. I know I tend to skip that over a lot, but hey, you know the reason. Um, at least I believe one of the mobs around here should be able to drop a quest for me unless my uh, short-term memory or my memory is really uh, messing with me today 
Hopefully it's not, because I really would like a, a drop a quest to be dropping for me. It's always awesome when that whenever that happens. So that makes you that gives you a, a nice feeling of more XP and more XP is more is a happier Cholo and a happier Cholo is a happier you, I guess. Just gotta wait for the item to be ready. There we go. Only f two more gnomes to go, but I still need to get find a lot of spare parts that is laying around, making a mess of things. Oh, here we got some. Go ahead, tank it, White Walker. Thank you. Oh, I accidentally pulled that one. I thought I had the I didn't have the uh, gnome target there. Warning! Warning! Enter the alert. Oh, gotta love that sound. That's uh, coming all the way back from uh, gnome again. Oh, how many times haven't I listened to that? Wise. <laughs> Amazing. It always meant danger. Oh, there, there we go. That's the it, that is the uh, quest item I'm talking about. I knew there was a quest item that would be able to drop here. So let's go up and deliver it before uh, anything, in case it do have a, fo a follow up on it. it. It is only giving me 2,700 2, XP, so it's bound to be giving me a follow up quest or something. But this is just so addicting to be uh, running around killing robots and getting the spare parts. Complete quest that I accept the next one. And yeah, that is great deal that we did. Uh, did end up uh, picking up that quest because now I can go ahead and uh, reprogram those robots. So that is great. That is one quest I was looking forward. So now we need to kill the robots as well. So now it's not just wasting around wasting our time killing some stuff so now we need to kill the robots and reprogram them and then we'll, they will follow me and help me kill stuff so we still need to get a lot of spare parts but they, they can be f found around in the water here let's go ahead pull intruder alert Hmm, it's one o'clock, and I, I'm I'm kind of feeling hungry. That's probably because I haven't s ate anything in today, and I woke up like three, four hours ago. Three hours ago, and I haven't eaten anything yet. Oh well, we'll take that later on. I need to do some recording first. And uh, in one and a half hour, I will have some more League of Legends to be watching. So I would like to get at least a few episodes done before that happens. Uh, let's uh, get going. We still need to program a lot of robots. Got f four program, uh, four robots reprogrammed, making them uh, on the good side. However, it's it's the gnome, so I'm not re re really sure if it's a good side or not. One. So ten more robots to go. Still a lot of t lot of them, <laughs> and I still a find more robot parts. So we still got plenty of stuff to do. Um, reprogram that one. 
I wonder, can I reprogram the... No, they disappeared. I, was, I thought I would uh, be able to reprogram those I already reprogrammed before because I just saw one of them uh, was lying around dead in the water, so... But of course not. No, how do I make it, uh, make it a lot easier? Like this one, if I'm able to reprogram that one, but that one I'm, not, I have, I'm having targeted right now, it disappears, so kind of sucks. But uh, seven more robots to go, and still need to uh, four more robot parts. This is one of the grindy quests in uh, quests in um, Boron Tundra. So n not one of it's not one of those quests I'm really happy about. I think they're kind of boring. At least the scenario, the place you that you're running around killing them is a kind of boring place, in my opinion. But I, oh well, they have to be done, and I guess uh, they are forcing you to be killing stuff, so just killing stuff in general is giving you XP. And uh, then the quest is giving uh, XP as well, as uh, also in very nice, so it's pretty good XP, I mean, uh, pretty good XP per hour, the kill killing quests. But just the place that we have to kill them in is kind of boring. So. But at least we're almost done. We only need one more robot spare part and then we'll need to find uh, five more robots to be reprogramming. So I'm gonna fly up here to see if uh, maybe they respawned over here. Uh, at least a few of them did. Uh, and I'm ha still having some of these spare, uh, some robots uh, run, uh, laying around from before I actually got my quest item here. So that's nice. I don't want to reprogram that mammoth. You can target the right target, thank you. So, three more robots. I think that's good. Ooh, and Tulpa right on 15 minutes. Would you quit that, stupid gnomes? Even when you're um, robots, you're annoying. Okay, so one more robot to be uh, reprogramming and one more robot part to be found. Not sure where I can find the part though. Can't really see anything. Oh, there's one over there, isn't there? Yes, there is. So let's reprogram this one. There it is. And... Oh. We still have to... How could I forget about that? Wow. That's amazing skills I got right there. I still need to uh, reprogram or curse a uh, gnome curse and uh, port it out. I still need to need to do that on two more metallic gnomes here and somehow I managed to forget all about that wow oh well now we killed two of them and uh, ported one out and we're gonna put port the next one out I was kind of wondering why I only had two quests completed and not three of them so but oh well <laughs> now we got three quests completed and all of them giving me oh 33,000 and 27 for Oh, that's nice. And I saw there was a couple of items there as well. Maybe they, one of them will give me a, a yeah, upgrade. This one gives me no item, but however, it gives me a follow-up quest. This one gives me an item hat, giving me a lot of stamina, no intellect, and nah, that's not an item upgrade. This one sells for the most then. And I accept the next one, a follow-up is always appreciated. And there's a quest inside this building. I'm gonna get that in uh, just a moment. I'm gonna pick up this quest uh, first though. And uh, no item upgrades either. Uh, here, complete and let's get in the building here. Pick up whatever quest there may be up here on the first floor, but no, couldn't fly up there. Oh, that's right. We need to find a pilot. I know where he is. I know where he is. But um, I think I'm gonna do the other quest first then. Yeah, that's why we have to fly around, 
click some buttons and kill some stuff. We need to press this uh, uh, valves or whatever they are called. Um, and then there will be coming a large giant mob that we have to kill and you guys know the questions probably because I'm, a, I'm assuming you, most of you guys who is uh, watching this uh, let's play video have already played through the game a couple of times and I probably shouldn't explain the questions but I imagine some of you might not have done all of the questions or might only have done the questions on the horde side and this uh, the alliance point of view may be completely new to you but uh, nonetheless I'm, I'm leveling it as an alliance and I, I feel it's, it's uh, good enough uh, to be explaining at least some of the questions and it gives me something to talk about because uh, doing the let's play series here is uh, kind of sometimes um, pretty hard because sometimes you don't know what you're talking about and then you have the choice to be narrating whatever you're doing uh, right here and right now but still you don't want to talk about something completely random something that has nothing to do ab uh, about the uh, warlock or the character that you're leveling right now so believe it or not sometimes doing these la let's play videos uh, can be incredible hard to do uh, and the fact that I have to constantly keep talking because if I just were like running around leveling and I uh, and I'm not talking for uh, maybe five minutes and then suddenly I would say and then we killed this and uh, that's night nice or something like oh oh not good not good C can you get away from me uh, wrong button <laughs> okay so I accidentally hit the wrong button there but I uh, now a rogue typical that is like the third or fourth time that a rogue comes and gank me and I was even on half health there when he came and ganked me and I even uh, clicked the wrong button for some reason I wasn't holding shift down so I didn't fear them instead I did use a drain soul on him but oh well let's uh, see if we can find him and uh, see if we can get ready again however the last couple of times I had the fight with a rogue I didn't go that well, kind of suck at PvP with my Warlock. And besides, uh, Rogues is having a little bit uh, better uh, stance whenever they uh, start out the fight because they can just vanish and uh, or stealth and then they start out the fight. And uh, it's really about who's starting the fight. Um, where is the Rogue? Of course, I cannot find the Rogue here because. Well, he disappeared. Hmm, no rogue? That's boring. I, I, I'm gonna find him eventually. Eventually, he, he's somewhere around. I'm no, I know. But let's fly down here, click the valve down here. Then we'll figure out from there. He could be following me and stuff as well. That wouldn't be very nice though if he did that. No, nothing flying around, no. Okay, so... One more valve to be clicked and I believe that is right under the platform over here. That is... Right, ooh, ooh. Hello, Mr. Rogue. Hello, Mr. Rogue. Oh, you took off, off my dots. That's not very nice. Hmm. And having a leg spike. Come on, I had a leg spike there. I, I'm not sure if Fraps captured that, but I, I had a leg spike right when he like vanished. You did, you see, you saw him vanish, and um, then right when he did that, uh, I, my computer kind of had a leg spike, and then suddenly I was dead. But fortunately, I had some dots rolling on him, and I kind of had my revenge there, uh, even though I died. But hey. Shit happens, but he died as well. Stupid person, stupid rogue. I hate rogues. They're really annoying to deal with once you while you're leveling. Oh well, oh well. Mm, what is next up?
Hmm. Why did that one just die? Did the rogue already uh, rest or something? I think he did. Hmm. But at least I had my revenge. Okay, so next item to be clicking that. Uh, that should be so. Oh, there he is somewhere there. I'm I'm sure he is watching me. So having legs by again. What what is it with these legs? It's kind of annoying. So let's uh, get the. Uh, He, the rogue is right over there. No, that is a complete other guy. That's a level 76 rogue. And I'm not gonna be dealing with that rogue. He is a uh, too uh, high level compared to me. Hopefully he haven't seen me yet. And hopefully that other rogue doesn't uh, appear and kill me either. Because I'm done with the PvP. I, I'm not dealing with PvP while I'm leveling it. So. I mean, sometimes it can be fun, but uh, come on, I'm doing a Let's Play series here, and uh, that's really not what I'm uh, up for. Okay, so... I need to press that item, and uh, apparently the valve is not under here as a f original fort. Uh, that may be another quest at some point later, and I'm just messing around doing nothing. Constructive. So, let's kill that guy here. Fly up. Find the valve right over here. Didn't I already press that valve? I thought I did, but I apparently not. Uh -oh. Having a leg spine. Hello, Mr. Rogue. Bye bye, Mr. Rogue. No, we are fine. No. Oh, that felt good. Oh, and by the way, guys, uh, now I'm kind of getting close to getting this quest done here. Um, and Tolpa Rock will be happening in five minutes, so I think that is a fine point to be ending this episode, guys. And I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. We did get a couple of kills on that rope. We did get our revenge. We get, got our quest completed. And, well, we managed to get quite some XP and we moved from all the way down to the Lion's Keep and all the way up to uh, Amber Sledge and over here, so that's great. We did complete a few quests and we did get one item upgrade, so that's nice, very nice. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, if you did, please hit the thumbs up button and uh, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below, that would be very much appreciated as well. Oh well, uh, till next time, bye!